It's Wednesday, the 28th of April. This is the news in 60 seconds. In today's newspapers, FIFA Arab Cup to be a celebration of Arab unity, says Infantino. The FIFA Arab Cup 2021 in December this year will be a great opportunity to unite the Arab world through football, besides testing Qatar's operational readiness for the prestigious FIFA World Cup in 2022, the game's global chief Gianni Infantino said yesterday. Discover Qatar issues new guidelines for mandatory quarantine. Booking requirement changes for travelers from Bangladesh, India, Nepal, Pakistan, the Philippines and Sri Lanka mean travelers from these countries will now be required to quarantine in a hotel for 10 days whether they are vaccinated or not. Discover Qatar has stated that it is finalizing the new quarantine packages which will be open soon for people to make bookings. Exercise caution. Hamad Medical Corporation advises scooter riders. Health authorities in Qatar have advised e-scooter riders to be cautious following a spike in crashes that have, in at least a few instances, resulted in severe injuries. In a statement, the authorities said the Hamad Trauma Center has already seen victims with severe e-scooter injuries, and there have been reports of many minor to moderate e-scooter injuries needing care at various emergency rooms in Qatar. They went on to say the Hamad Injury Prevention Program does not want e-scooters to be a cause of more severe injuries here in Qatar especially during Ramadan, when kids and other users will ride them mostly at night. For all the information you need on Qatar, get Mahaba's amazing e-guides. They're completely free of charge and available on their website, www.mahaba.qa forward slash e-guides. Qatar's weather. The Met Office have put out a warning again today that thunderstorms associated with sudden strong winds are expected. There will be scattered clouds with a chance of rain which may be thundery in some places at times. Doha will see temperatures between 27 and 39 degrees. Elsewhere in the country, it will be between 22 and 43 degrees. Now today's COVID update. In the last 24-hour period, there have been 695 new cases of COVID-19 and 1,612 recoveries. Unfortunately, there were also four COVID-related deaths. Which means for the sixth day running, there has been a decrease in active cases, today dropping by a gigantic 921, giving us a new current total of 18,446 active cases. That's all for today. Please take care, and I'll see you tomorrow.